day 53, Leviticus 26 through 27. This is just the word where we're reading chronologically through the Bible in a year. This is day 53 of 365, our last day in Leviticus, Leviticus 26 through 27. You shall not make idols for yourselves, neither a carved image nor a sacred pillar shall you rear up for yourselves, nor shall you set up an engraved stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statues and keep my commandments and perform them, then I will give you rain in its season. The land shall yield its produce and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last till the time of vintage and the vintage shall last until the time of sowing. You shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land safely. I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down and none will make you afraid. I will rid the land of evil beasts and the sword will not go through your land. You will chase your enemies and they shall fall by the sword before you. Five of you shall chase a hundred and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Your enemies shall fall by the sword before you. For I will look on you favorably, for I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful, multiply you and confirm my co covenant with you. You shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old because of the new. I will set my tabernacle among you and my soul shall not abhor you. I will walk among you and be your God and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you walk upright. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statues or if your soul abhors my judgments so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my covenant, I also will do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you, wasting disease and fever, which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when no one pursues you. And after all this, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power and I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze and your strength shall be spent in vain for your land shall not yield its produce, nor shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. Then if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times more plagues according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, destroy your livestock, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if by these things you are not reformed by me, but walk contrary to me, then I also will walk contrary to you, and I will punish you yet seven times for your sins. I will bring a sword against you that will execute the vengeance of the covenant when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. When I have cut off your supply of bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall bring back your bread by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. And after this, if you do not obey me, but walk contrary to me, then I... I then I also will walk contrary to you in fury, and I, even I, will chase, chastise you seven times for your sins. You shall eat the flesh of your sons, and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars, and cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. I will lay your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries to desolation, and I will not smell the fragrance 
fragrance of your sweet aromas. I will bring the land to desolation and your enemies who dwell in it shall be astonished at it. I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. Your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbath as long as it lies desolate and you are in your enemy's land. Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbath. As long as it lies desolate, it shall rest. For the time it did not rest on your Sabbaths when you dwelt in it. And as for those of you who are left, I will send faintness into your hearts in the lands of your enemies. The sound of a shaken leaf shall cause them to flee. They shall flee as though fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when no one pursues. They shall stumble over one another as it were before a sword when no one pursues, and you shall have no power to stand before your enemies. You shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up, and those of you who are left shall waste away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands. Also in their father's iniquities, which are with them, they shall waste away. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me and that they also have walked contrary to me, then and that I also have walked contrary to them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they accept their guilt, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham. I will remember. I will remember the land and also the land also shall be left empty by them and will enjoy its Sabbaths while it lies desolate without them. They will accept their guilt because they have despised my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statues. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, nor shall I abhor them to utterly destroy them and break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord, their God. But for their sake, I will remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between himself and the children of Israel on Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Chapter 27. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When a man consecrates, consecrates by a vow certain persons to the Lord, according to your valuation, if your evaluation is of a male from 20 years old up to 60 years old, then your evaluation shall be 50 shekels of silver, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. If it is a female, then your evaluation shall be 30 shekels. And if from 5 years old to 20 years old, then your evaluation for a male shall be 20 shekels and for a female 10 shekels. And if from a month old up to five years old, then your valuation shall be a, for a male shall be five shekels of silver. And for a female, your valuation shall be three shekels of silver. And if from six years old and above, if it is a male, then your valuation shall be 15 shekels and for a female, 10 shekels. But if he is too poor to pay your valuation, then he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall set a value for him according to the ability of him who vowed. The priest shall value him. If it is an animal that men may bring as an offering to the Lord, all that anyone gives to the Lord shall be holy. He shall not substitute it or exchange it, good for bad or bad for good. If he at all exchanges animal for animal, then both it and the one exchanged for it shall be holy. If it is an unclean animal which they do not offer as a sacrifice to the Lord, then he shall present the animal before the priest, and the priest shall set a value for it, whether it is good or bad. As you, the priest, value it, so it shall be. 
But if he wants at all to redeem it, then he must add one fifth of your valuation. And when a man dedicates his house to be holy to the Lord, then the priest shall set a value for it, whether it is good or bad, as the priest values it, so it shall stand. If he who dedicated it wants to redeem his house, then he must add one fifth of the money of your valuation to it, and it shall be his. If a man decides, if a man dedicates to the Lord part of a field of his possession, then your valuation shall be according to the seed for it. A homer or barley seed shall be valued at 50 shekels of silver. If he dedicates his field from the year of Jubilee, according to your valuation, it shall stand. But if he dedicates his field after the Jubilee, then the priest shall reckon to him the money due according to the years that remain till the year of Jubilee, and it shall be deducted from your valuation. And if he who dedicates the field ever wishes to redeem it, then he must add one fifth of the money of your valuation to it, and it shall belong to him. But if he does not want to redeem the field, or if he has sold the field to another man, it shall not be redeemed any more. But the field, when it is released in the Jubilee, shall be holy to the Lord as a devoted field. It shall be the possession of the priest. And if a man dedicates to the Lord a field which he has bought, which is not the field of his possession, then the priest shall reckon to him the worth of your valuation up to the year of Jubilee, and he shall give your valuation on that day as a holy offering to the Lord. In the year of Jubilee, the field shall return to him from whom it was bought, to the one who owned the land as a possession. And all your valuation shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary, 20 giras to the shekel. But the firstborn of the animals, which should be the Lord's firstborn, no man shall dedicate, whether it is an ox or sheep, it is the Lord's. And if it is an unclean animal, then he shall redeem it according to your valuation and shall add one fifth to it. Or if it is not redeemed, then it shall be sold according to your valuation. Nevertheless, no devoted offering that a man may devote to the Lord of all that he has, both man and beast, or the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted offering is most holy to the Lord. No person under the ban who may become doomed to destruction among men shall be redeemed, but shall surely be put to death. And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. If a man wants at all to redeem any of his tithe, he shall add one-fifth to it. And concerning the tithe of the herb or the flock or whatever passes under the rod, the tenth one shall be holy to the Lord. He shall not inquire whether it is good or bad nor shall he exchange it. And if he exchanges it at all, then both it and the one exchange for it shall be holy. It shall not be redeemed. These are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses for the children of Israel on Mount Sinai. Sinai. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word of God. That was day 53, Leviticus 26 through 27.